Hi, my name is Pastor Hal York, and welcome to Truth in the Trenches. Today we're going to be in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 10. A rebuke goes deeper into one who has understanding than a hundred blows into a fool. Rebuke is more effective for a wise man than a hundred blows to a fool, is what it says in the New King James. What's this verse telling us about the difference between a fool and a wise man? Proverbs is filled with such comparisons. And we have another one here. What's the difference between a fool and a wise man? You can tell by the way they respond to correction. A rebuke, a verbal rebuke is what's intended here, is more effective or effectively reorients, as one person puts it, effectively reorients the way of a wise person or a person of understanding. Why is that? Think about what the proverb says about a wise person. They have the fear of God in their heart, chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. They guard their heart with diligence. They have a changed heart. They're humble. They're teachable. They seek to know wisdom. They seek to understand. One of the things they understand is that they're not perfect, that they're prone to wander. They they do not just like the idea of being wise or growing in godliness. They long to. And therefore, therefore, they are open to anything or anyone that will help them down that path towards godliness. The rebuke of friends, brothers or sisters in Christ, do not fall on deaf ears for the wise person. They are allowed to go deep into the heart where true change takes place. As that rebuke touches the heart, it effectively reorients the heart in the way of the wise person. David says in Psalm 119, before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. He says the other, later on, It is good for me that I was afflicted, that, that I may learn your statutes. Again, he says, I know, O Lord, that your rules are righteous, and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. This is the attitude of a believer, a wise person, a man or woman of understanding. Just a word can turn them around. Think of Nathan when he confronted David with the sin with Bathsheba. Just as words brought David to repentance. One look from Jesus to Peter after Peter had denied him the night Jesus was crucified went right to his heart and he went out and wept just because Jesus looked at him. The believer has a sensitive heart, a sensitivity to sin, a love of righteousness that leads to a quick, humble response to a loving rebuke or warning. That's the mark of a wise person, a godly person. It doesn't mean to imply it's pleasant, but the wise person knows it was needed. They don't have to be hit over the head by a two-by-four. On the other hand, the fool, you can beat him with a hundred blows, and the word, the word blows here refers to flogging, and he may have the marks on his back, but it never goes any deeper than that in his heart, to his heart. Why? Because his heart is hard. He rails at God, he's crooked, he's proud, he's insensitive, he's wise in his own eyes, he's untouchable. He's unteachable. He always has to learn the hard way if he ever learns at all. Fools, those who profess to be wise, think of Pharaoh and the ten plagues who could not bring him to his knees, humble him or teach him anything. He and his whole army were destroyed by the, in the Red Sea, led there by a fool who refused to learn from the warnings of Moses and God himself. And there are many other examples in the Bible and in the world around us. Look at the verses that follow, verse 11 of chapter 17. An evil man seeks only rebellion, and a cruel messenger will be sent against him. Verse 12, let a man meet a she-bear robbed of her cubs, rather than a fool in his folly. They seek not righteousness, but rebellion. A cruel messenger lies in wait. His day is coming. Verse 12, you're better off meeting a mother bear separated from her cubs, than you are a fool in his folly. Fool, this is a fool experiencing all the disaster, the pain, the heartache, the despair of his foolish choices, of his lifestyle. They are more dangerous than an angry bear. This illustrates a point. It's not a suggestion that we go try and do that. But an angry bear is fierce. It's deadly. It's violent. But our verse says, but meeting a fool experiencing the full effects of his folly is even worse. There's a lot to think about in that verse. So remember... Let the word of rebuke do an effective reorientation in your heart. Be quick to hear, quick to learn, quick to repent when needed. Rebuke is more effective for a wise man than a hundred blows. 
on a fool. May this truth guide us and guard us in the trenches of life as we seek to live our lives for the glory of God and the good of others. May God bless. <laughs>